Hello everybody and welcome to another MX Bikes video and today boys we are at the the Evan Ferry, the Ferry, the uh, the compound, all right, of the Ferries, all right, I'm pretty sure this is where Evan was training, this is where he got good, um, what's Evan up to, I honestly don't know, um, I think he's still in the amateur ranks doing the, just doing all that pre-pro stuff, I don't know if he's on a team or whatnot, but uh, I think I saw him on a Yamaha last, I know he was on the Husqvarna something i don't know um but hit that sub button that like button there's three tracks in this compound um haven't really done a track like review i guess video in a long time um there just hasn't been much tracks but there's been a lot of other stuff going on obviously with the papiti servers the new bikes um but yeah i think as the year goes on um yeah we're gonna see a lot more tracks dropping uh, this summer is gonna be crazy trust me on that so this track here is like the turn track little sandy little sand pit here um pretty fun to be honest um and i think tracks like this to be honest um help help people out a lot when they're starting because a lot of people want to hit the big jumps and do all that stuff but it doesn't make you better at the game you know getting the speed around these corners and, and learning how to maneuver the bike and uh, keep that back tire on the ground to keep that power moving um that's the those are the skills you want to not really skills, but just, it's just, I, I think it gets you better at the game. You know what I'm saying? I think it just overall gets you more comfortable playing it. But yeah, three tracks. You got this, you got the moto track, and then there's like this supercross track. And both of both of the motocross and supercross track are very sketchy. Um, and sketchy, I mean, like they're like a true backyard track where like nothing is shaped up like everything is like kind of old and like worn out and just like you know they don't got they haven't had the dozer out here in a while that's kind of what i'm trying to say here but um yeah i do love these type of tracks i really do i made a video on the sand track um it was like a work in progress track i don't think it was ever finished sadly but uh that was a few months ago and it was literally just like this there was nothing around it was just grass dirt and some roughness and uh listen i could spin laps around this for like an hour or two like seriously it's just i just find it fun um you know and obviously railing corners is a ton of fun in this game so it's like why not you know what i mean i can't wait for the motocross series this year i can't wait for the mxgp series to start um Gosh, it's gonna be a lot of money I'm gonna be forking, but honestly, um, it's just a lot of fun. This game's a ton of fun. The series that people are creating are, are awesome. Obviously, JV is doing the, the tracks for the MXGP series. I love his tracks, personally. They're very rough, very sketchy, a lot of elevation, and so those are gonna be super fun. So we did two laps there. Um, and so now we're just gonna go to the Let's go to the Supercross track, because um, that track, I'll show you, you guys will see. It's not, you know, it's a backyard track. In MX Bikes, obviously it's very tight. Um, MX Bikes doesn't like things that are small and scaled down. So, hopefully we get no Pabobo bounces here, but we'll see what we can do. Oh, it's hard. It's just hard to ride. I don't know if you bring a pit bike out here with the correct mods on it. Um... I have a lot of fun, but uh, this bike is just—it feels just too big on some of these sections, and the physics of the game just don't like it. Ooh, okay. But you could definitely get a flow on here. These whoops are just horrid, literal ravines. But I love that he made this like a legit backyard track. This isn't like a. It's like, this is the fairy compound. There's a bunch of shaped up, like, crispy tracks, like, that clearly would never be, you know, in his backyard. You know what I mean? So I like this a lot, honestly. You could have a ton of fun on here, do some little sprint laps with your bows. And, uh, I mean, I just had a, I just put down a pretty good lap there. It's pretty flowy, to be honest. You kind of just sit in second gear and kind of just bounce your way around, you know what I mean? That jumps hard but uh yeah pretty cool I'm not gonna do anything else on here 
the let's go to the moto track because the moto track honestly is kind of the it's kind of the main the main slime we got here you know what i'm saying so uh let's rail this so it is also a sand track i think everything on here might be a sand maybe some type of sand this one you can actually hear it you know so there's also a huge triple up here i do not have sand tires on I literally am just running my Supercross setup. I don't know if that's good or not. Probably not, but... Whoa! I'm re-hitting that. Heck no. The 120s actually have a lot of grip. I'm running the mid-soft in the front. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, to be honest. Let's see if we can clear this first attempt. Okay, dude, come on. We'll get her next time around. We'll throw a fat whip on it. But uh, this track, yeah, sand. It's like, I don't know. It's like another sand track, but I love how he does the ruts. And uh, honestly, if you can get around the fact that the track looks like it's the most beat up C-class track you've ever seen, um, and you start finding the lines, you can actually get a really good flow around here, so... Look at this, dude. I have a lot of fun with this, not gonna lie. Sometimes you gotta get away from those perfectly shaped up, perfectly groomed, um, you know, soupy cross and motocross tracks. You need some beat up, you know what I'm saying? Some beat up hometown track vibes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like these jumps, just a little too close together for like a 250, it feels like. It's like even the geometry of the bike just doesn't even want to, doesn't even want to work. Oh, yeah. This is a wall jump. I freaking sent it off this like four laps in a row and I was like, what am I doing? Literally doing like double fronties, bro. All right, I need to hit this double. Redemption. Actual redemption. We also sent some fatties off this, I think. Uh, not really. It's tough on the 250. That counts, to be honest. That counts. But yeah, actually, I'm like kind of liking this a lot more than I thought I would. I threw a couple laps down last night, and I was just like debating whether I make a video on it. But uh, honestly. This is pretty fun. I would not recommend this if you're a beginner. You should stay on the groom tracks, but if you want to have fun for a good, you know, hour or two, get the buddies on here. Throw down some heaters, dude. I mean, there is no lap times, but I don't know. You could still have a lot of fun on these tracks. Oh. Yeah, I should probably try sand tires, to be honest. See if I can grease this finally. There we go. That's as good as you're hitting that, brother, on the 250. That was pretty greased. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Not super long, just want to show off the compound, have some fun. And uh yeah, hit that sub with the like button, get my Discord to what, 500 members? We're almost at 500, so. Join that, link in the description, follow my TikTok, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.